All right. Hello, everybody, and happy Sunday. I am getting on here to do the full moon in Capricorn. Let's get right to it. So the Capricorn full moon happens on Monday, July 3rd. This happens at about 7.39 a.m. So this will happen probably at about 4.39 Pacific time, my time. For all of you witchy people on the West Coast, Capricorn full moons have a tendency to make us a little more depressed, especially those of us with a very strong Capricorn placement in our charts. There are six signs that strongly connect with the moon, and they are Cancer, of course, ruled by the moon. Capricorn, Cancer's polar opposite. Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, and Virgo. This is also called a buck moon or a thunder moon. It, in a lot of ways, back in the day, it represented the male deer shedding his antlers. And it represents the strength of manifesting good intentions. Summer is in its zenith right now and powerful. Make your intentions powerful too. Let the sun carry those intentions to the heavens. This Capricorn energy rules politics, control, discipline, structure, government, and manipulation. You can't have structure at, without manipulation when it comes to Capricorn. There will be more focus on people starting and ending jobs, new careers. Some will get promoted. Others will get fired or even laid off. Businesses in this energy can go belly up or have business breakups. And in this energy, you will be judged on your public behavior too. Headlines these next few weeks will come from politics, political figures, control, conservative values, government issues, and the decisions made by our own government will impact the people. This is also where financial impact can hit people in a negative way. One thing Capricorn is all about is tearing down what doesn't work and rebuilding it bigger and better, even on the backs of other people. And let's not forget on a side note here, Pluto jumped back into Capricorn on what, June 11th of this year, 2023, and it stays here till into January of 2024, meaning this is the last breath of conservative values. In five years from now, everything is going to fucking change in a lot of ways. It can either go very good or very bad. It all depends, but um, there's an imbalance that's what the issue is with the court system. There's an imbalance of energies. The full moon in Capricorn on a personal level for all of you out there is going to be all about our accomplishments, our career, our public image, goals. This also represents the father figure energy. All souls that are born with a sun, a moon, a rising, a natal, or hidden dragon, head or tail, and Capricorn. And of course, all cancers will feel this placement the strongest. And it can be very karmic in nature. And what I mean by that is there are things that could come in from a past life. And there are things that could come in that are meant to come in to teach you a lesson. Capricorn is about teaching you lessons and learning from them. So take stock of what happens these next two weeks. Now, Pluto, we talk about Pluto again. Pluto has moved back into Capricorn until January 20th, 2024. And this placement does very well together because they're both filled with success, power-driven souls, and they will tear it all down and start anew. One thing I can say is that Capricorn and Scorpio work very well together. So does Saturn and Pluto. 
they work very well together. They're very simpatico. Pluto is the planet of death, drama, rebirth, transformation, and it takes another tour of Capricorn. This will set into motion the cleanup process of ridding the old structures, old paradigms, old habits, values, and the intolerance of certain political parties that threaten the process and the progress of the future. Please remember that Pluto is in retrograde as well. So that is backtracking everything and making us take stock and look a little deeper as well. Pluto and Capricorn, these two together have the power to change the world and also can be unfeeling and heartless. These two placements do not give a rat's ass about your feelings. This is a sobering placement where those who fear change will not survive and will struggle with the new age of Aquarius and its focus on community, humanity, better things for the world. Let's not forget what rules Capricorn, and that is Saturn. Saturn is the great malefic planet. The planet in its negative is suppression, control, manipulation, karma, fear, depression, and disease. The, the positive focus of what Saturn and Capricorn has to offer is good karma, logical, practical, structure, disciplined, and one thing a Capricorn should always be is loyal. Now in the realm of magic and for my magical folk, spell work for dealing with better career opportunities, positions of authority, anything for organization, ambition, and ambition work will work very well under these stars. Any healing rituals for the knees, the bones, the teeth, and the skin are all favored now. And any spell work for send the karma back is going to be powerful at this time. I would just wait until it's slightly wanting to send that karma back. Also, last but not least, I say this every Capricorn full moon. The full moon in Capricorn is the perfect time to connect with the morning star the Lucifer energy and that and this is his moon in a lot of ways the full moon in Capricorn even the new moon in Capricorn but always looking over into the the uh, eastern sky in the morning about 4 30 in the morning you will always see the morning star and that is the Lucifer star and he is filled with liberation of self-thought personal power and freedom to think for ourselves. Now Capricorn full moons always seem to bring a little bit of a harsh reality of some sort. Sometimes it can be even karmic, but these next few weeks are a time to put things to rest, reflect, clean up, and prepare for the beautiful Cancer moon ahead. This will be on July 17th, 2023. The news these next few weeks is going to be harsh and even dramatic at times. And with it being in Capricorn energy, prepare for some insane news with our own government, our politicians. And I also want to prepare you for July 26th, as we will never do banking the same way again. For all of my Patreons, you know what this means. Feel free to join me on Patreon. I am Astro Strega on Patreon. Be safe, all of you. Have a blessed full moon, and uh, I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.